Hi, my name is Steve and this is part one of a multi-part tutorial on planetary imaging. Um, we're going to use several programs to take a, a uh, raw video of uh, Jupiter through to the finished image. Uh, we're going to use Auto Stacker to align and stack our uh, TIFF file and we will use PixInsight to sharpen the image and we will use WinJupos to derotate and combine uh, several images that were uh, captured uh, in a short sequence of time. So it's, it's what I normally do um, to get my final image. So I've already uh, opened and loaded a raw video, um, which you see here. Um, you can see the uh, Individual frames are, you can see some some features, but uh, not any fine detail. Which, what the this whole process is what pulls out that uh, that fine detail. Um, so after you open your file, um, there's a few settings that you may need to make. Um, for Jupiter, you're going to leave this center of gravity selection. Um, dynamic background always stays set. Uh, for Jupiter, we're going to use gradient. Um, for other planets, you would use uh, the edge, for instance, Venus as a crescent. Um, and if you were doing the sun or the moon, you would use this surface setting up here. Um, this noise robust setting, uh, I typically am on three or four, goes as low as two, or as high as six. You would use six if your uh, seeing was very poor. Um, the local and global, um, there's a use for it. Um, I probably need to read up on it because uh, I'm not real sure. I always leave it on local. And after that, you would analyze. Um, it would go through and it reorders. As you see here, the gray is uh, the original quality of uh, the frame as they were recorded, which is pretty much is uh, the variation in the scene. Uh, and it reorders after you analyze it in, in order of quality. Um, and you get a nice smooth uh, curve like this typically. If your curve is not smooth, then you probably need to go up here and turn on variable transparency recovery and reanalyze. And it'll give you a, a curve like this. Um, and once it's analyzed and you're happy with it, you're ready to go over here and place your uh, alignment points. I typically use uh, the 50 setting um, and place them along the uh, the bands, you know, similar to this, anywhere from uh, 28 to uh, 44. Um, and typically I'm going to stack 50% of the frames. Um, and sometimes I'll go as high as 75. So. That's it for this one. We'll, uh, I've already got these stacked. We'll go to the next video.